Good afternoon, Hitesh Bhai. Good afternoon. How are you? I am fantastic as always. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, today we are on webinar and uh, let me introduce uh, you to all our viewers. As there is no need of introduction, he is advocate Dr. Hitesh Bhatt. Uh, he is medical legal consultant, his partner, my partner and partner in B&S medical legal consultancy firm. Uh, he is multifaceted personality and uh, I would like to uh, invite him for uh, this webinar. Dr. Hidesh Bhai. Thank you, Gitendra Bhai, for kind introduction. Gitendra Bhai, I want to know one thing that nowadays we are seeing COVID consent or consent specific for COVID people are taking for OPD patients. So what are your views on that particular aspect? Whether these consents are required, whether it is necessary, whether it will save you from any medical legal implications? As far as consent part is concerned, uh, our understanding uh, may be different from others. See, we believe that uh, the purpose of consent is to giving the information to the patient. Now, in this COVID era, show me a single person who does not know what is Corona or what is COVID-19. So, already public information is available through TV, through newspaper to the public. So, whenever somebody comes for the treatment, it is an implied consent that after knowing all the consequences, he has come for the treatment. Moreover, pandemic is an emergency. And in emergency, there is no need of any consent at all. Over and above that, when we take consent, it increases paperwork. And as we all know, when it increases paperwork, it increases the chances of transmission of infection. So, we don't recommend uh, consent. Moreover, by taking consent, you cannot be saved. After taking consent, you cannot be negligent. And consent is not going to save you in a court of law if you are negligent. And on the other aspect, even after giving consent that I will not show you, you cannot restrict patient to go to court. So, it is the right of patient that patient can even after taking consent show you. So, as this consent is not going to save you, it is useless uh, for taking the consent as far as our view is concerned. Now, second thing is that rather than taking consent, you can see a few people naming it consent. If you are say, telling that it is declaration, somebody gives another name. So, no, whatever name you give, but it is not required as far as our view is concerned. And moreover, when you document your history, it is advisable to document it in a proper way. If you, in your history, document that there is no history of fever, no history of cough, no history of any contact with the COVID positive patient, or no history of arthralgia or diarrhea, or no history of any uh, international travel in last 15 uh, days. So if that kind of history is documented, that will be believed by court whenever such issue is raised in the court of law. So, as far as our view is concerned, uh, we don't recommend such consent and to increase the clerical burden. Hope I am clear, sir. Thank you, Gitendra Bhai, for confirming my views and uh, to make it clear for all the viewers. And I request all the viewers to vote for Dr. Gitendra for VP Foxy uh, 2020 elections. He is most eligible candidate and more so, he is worthy for this post. So I appeal all of you to do the needful for him. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hitesh Bhai. And uh, you are so kind uh, to appeal on my behalf. And uh, we expect too much from you uh, <laughs> at this point of time. Thank you.